Life can get boring sometimes, and in those moments, it's easy to fantasize about a world that's a little more, you know, bonkers. But I'm about to let you in on a little secret. The world is already pretty nuts. You just have to look in the right places. <laughs> <laughs> and if you thought that was amazing, just wait till you feast your eyes on some of the weird and wonderful sights I've got in store for you in this episode of Things You Will See for the First Time in Your Life. It's true what they say. The things that make us different are the things that we should celebrate. Just ask Indiana man Corey Bennett. No, you're not seeing things. He really is built different. You see, Bennett has a rare genetic condition called cleidocraniodysplasia, which affects the teeth and bones. Growing up, Corey was bullied for the way he looked, but he has since taken back power by showing off his amazing abilities on TikTok. Clapping with your hands is so last year. As far as Corey is concerned, shoulder clapping is the way forward now. But how does he do it? Well, people with cleocradial dysplasia are born with underdeveloped or absent collarbones, which means they can make their shoulders touch in front of the body. By embracing what makes him different and sharing content online, Corey helps spread awareness about the condition and says he's already received many messages of support from others like him. Stranger Things star Gatton Matarazzo, who plays Dustin, also has cleidocranial dysplasia and has previously spoken openly about how those with the condition shouldn't be afraid to show it. If I had insane abilities like this, you'd have to try and stop me from showing off all the time. Okay, so clapping your shoulders together is a pretty impossible task for most of us. So here's a much easier one. Just head over to those like and subscribe buttons and show them some love. And while you're there, give that little bell icon a little tickle too. And that way, you'll be the first to know when I upload more amazing content. Now, where were we? The rainforest is populated with some of the most weird and wonderful creatures on our planet. But I bet you've never seen one like this before. It may look like a hairy, eight-legged tarantula from above, but this utterly bizarre creature is actually another kind of insect known as the monkey slug caterpillar. These mesmerizing caterpillars are the larvae of the hag moth, which are usually seen in late summertime in the United States. This particular specimen, captured by wildlife photographer and rainforest enthusiast David Wheeler, was filmed in the Amazon rainforest of Puyo, Ecuador. This strange caterpillar has nine pairs of fleshy appendages, which look like legs but are not actually used for movement. While the caterpillar's real legs can be found beneath, these appendages help to trick predators into thinking it is actually a far more threatening creature. But don't be fooled, the monkey slug caterpillar isn't completely harmless either. You see, these critters have been known to sting humans when disturbed, which can result in varying reactions from redness to swelling. And then again, if you're someone who goes around picking up creatures that look like hairy tarantulas, you were probably asking for it. No matter how much we dream about flying, it just isn't something us land-dwelling humans were built to do. But that doesn't mean that a peak above the clouds is completely out of the question. This breathtaking clip was sent in by one of our viewers from Iraq. Shout out to you, Omar. These rolling clouds were filmed above the Gomi mountain range in the country of Georgia during a hiking trip. To make the most of this heavenly view, Omar and his friends set up a camp so they could sleep among the rolling clouds. Anyone else incredibly jealous right now? Although the clouds usually look relatively still and calm when you stand looking up at them, they are constantly moving because they're being carried along by wind. And even if you don't feel a breeze on the ground, there can still be wind high in the sky. Anyone else wish they could go bounding through these clouds like big, fluffy marshmallows? Psst. Do you want to earn yourself a shout-out in a future video? If the answer is yes, all you have to do is get in touch at clips at beamazed.com with anything weird, wonderful, or downright amazing that you think needs sharing with your fellow netizens. And if we like your clip enough, we might even buy it too. What are you waiting for? 
The weather can be truly terrifying sometimes, and Mother Nature's very worst moods usually result in one thing, thunderstorms. Of course, thunder and lightning isn't the most pleasant thing to experience, but they can be pretty badass to look at. Okay, who annoyed Thor this time? This massive bolt of lightning occurred on the 12th of March, 2021, during a huge storm in Sydney, Australia. The footage, which was recorded on a 24-hour live stream webcam, captured the terrifying moment the bolt shot down from the sky above, narrowly missing the ferries that were birthing at Circular Quay that evening. A single lightning bolt, which is technically just a giant discharge of electricity accompanied by a brilliant flash of light, can reach over 5 miles in length, raise the air temperature by as much as 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and can contain up to 100 million electrical volts. Jeez, if I were a passenger on this ferry, I'd be counting my lucky stars that I wasn't cooked that night. The bond between a pet and their owner can be truly heartwarming, and the animals of the furry kind aren't the only ones who crave human contact. This beautiful panther chameleon called Timo belongs to YouTuber Taylor Sean, and as you can see, he spends most of his time climbing all over him, even when Sean is trying to put him down again. <laughs> Oh, get off the camera, noob. <laughs> Man, Timo is one seriously clingy dude. Another thing you'll notice about Timo is his incredible bright coloring. As you know, chameleons are famous for their ability to change their skin color, which helps them hide in the wild. But if you own a chameleon as a pet, you can also read their changing color like a 90s mood ring. Generally speaking, darker colors indicate stress, while brighter colors like red, green, and orange can be a sign of excitement. When resting or in its neutral state, most chameleon species are brown or green. In fact, only the more colorful panther chameleon, which originated in the tropical rainforests of Madagascar, is capable of turning bright red like Timo here. Although chameleons aren't known for having the longest lifespans in the animal kingdom, Sean posted an update six years later in February 2021, which showed that Timo is still around and is as clingy as always. Where are you going, crazy? Oh my goodness. Can you imagine if our skin changed color to reflect our moods? The world around us is constantly changing, so it's important not to get too comfortable. One minute the ground can be solid, and the next it has turned into this. <laughs> Can't quite believe your eyes? In March 2021, this mind-bending video was uploaded to TikTok by user Acritic72. Of course, the clip instantly went viral, with befuddled netizens speculating where this fantastical place could be or what might cause the Earth to act in such an unusual way. The leading theory is that the wobbly grass in these clips showcase the results of soil liquefaction, a phenomenon which occurs when the soil or loosely packed sediments become waterlogged and act temporarily like a liquid. But that probably isn't what's happening here. These videos were filmed at a park in Patan, Nepal, called Mal Pokhari. Interestingly, it seems like this weird, wavy grass is a permanent, or at least recurring, feature at the park. Clips posted online dating back a number of years show people walking across the swamp area, which buckles and bulges beneath their feet. So what is causing this otherworldly phenomenon? Because the Malpakari Park sits on the edge of the Bagmati River, 
It wouldn't be too far-fetched to assume that these videos show an area of the park after a flood that caused some of the water to become trapped under the surface. So this waterbed-like field could actually be something like a giant lawn blister. Although the people in these videos look like they're having a lot of fun, this definitely isn't something you should try yourself. If the ground were to break, causing someone to fall through, it would be incredibly hard to get out again, and could even prove fatal. Sure, it would be so much more fun if the ground under our feet always acted like a big grassy bounce house, but I'm not sure it's worth risking your life for. It's important to treat animals with the same kindness we aim to show our fellow humans. But if there's one creature most of us agree it's okay to hate on, it's mosquitoes. And if there's anything worse than just a few buzzing mosquitoes, it's a whole gosh darn mosquito tornado. Okay, somebody grabbed the flamethrower. This terrifying sight was captured in Russia in May 2017. The fearless person behind the camera must have showered in bug repellent before filming this video, because I certainly wouldn't want to go anywhere near this thing. It's possible that this tornado formation occurred after a period of heavy rain resulting in large pools of stagnant water, where female mosquitoes love to lay their eggs. Although fumigation is usually your best bet when it comes to eliminating pests like mosquitoes, it also brings with it the risk of introducing toxic chemicals to the food chain, which could have a knock-on effect towards the insect's natural predators. Thankfully, a mosquito's lifespan is only about six or seven days, so it's best just to wait it out. That's right, in Russia, lockdown is enforced by mosquito tornadoes too. When was the last time you left the beach with a collection of decorative sand dollars? These pretty white objects, which get their name because they resemble a large silver coin like the old American or Spanish dollar, have long been the souvenir of keen beachgoers commemorating a successful summer's day. But if you've ever picked one of these bad boys up yourself, I have some troubling news for you. They're actually the skeleton of a living creature. Here is a live sand dollar. Now, you might be used to what a dead sand dollar looks like, so I'm just gonna put this guy down for a minute and pick up a dead one that I actually have found here. So this is a dead sand dollar. So sand dollars are marine invertebrates that are closely related to starfish, sea cucumbers, and sea urchins. As you can see, a dead sand dollar, which is really just an exoskeleton known as a test, is pretty devoid in color compared to its living counterpart, which is almost black. When you flip it over, you can identify a dead sand dollar by a set of grooves and a small opening on the bottom. But you'll find something very different on the underside of a living sand dollar. Um, but the underneath side of them, they, you don't actually see that opening the same way. If you take a really close look, you can actually see the bristles are moving. Hold on, why is it hairy? The underside of a sand dollar is actually covered in thousands of spines and miniature tube feet, which serve a few different purposes. Firstly, they help sand dollars to move around and thrive on the shifting bottom of the sandy seafloor an environment that most sea creatures find inhospitable. These bristles also help the creature eat by moving microscopic bacteria into its central mouth opening, where it is chewed for around 15 minutes before digesting. So the next time you come across a washed up sand dollar, just remember it's nothing but the husk of one of these fuzzy purple sea cookies. Volcanoes are some of the most terrifying forces of nature on the planet. Molten hot lava spewed out from these openings in the Earth's crust is capable of wreaking havoc on its nearby area, though it's not very often we get to see it for ourselves. This incredible footage, captured by drone pilot Bjorn Steinbeck, shows a stream of molten lava flowing from a new fissure in an Icelandic volcano. Anyone else think the flaming fissure it's pouring out from looks like a terrifying entrance to hell itself? 
The Fargradovsfjall volcano near Iceland's capital of Reykjavik began erupting for the first time in 800 years in March 2021, after the island nation was hit by thousands of small earthquakes. The eruption is considered relatively minor for a volcano, but Steinbeck's footage shows just how far lava can travel, filling the valley like a red-hot stream. Thankfully, lava flows pretty slowly, with a typical speed of around 0.25 miles per hour, and maximum speeds of 6 to 30 miles per hour on steep slopes. Although you might be able to outrun this lava flow, it's probably still best appreciated from afar, unless you want your eyebrows to be burned off. Do you believe in ghosts? For most people, spirits are something you'd really have to see to believe. But if you're a scuba diver, you might have already seen one. This ghoulish apparition floating around through the water near Bali in 2011 would be enough to make me jump out of my wetsuit. But what are we actually looking at here? This utterly bizarre creature is known as a leptocephalus, which literally means slim head. They may look like a flat, wiggly ribbon, but they're actually the transparent larvae of various marine eels. The large specimen in this video is most likely the larva of a moray eel, which has entered shallow water to finish metamorphizing into a young eel. Because leptocephali are transparent, they're pretty hard to spot and are rarely recorded. At this stage, their organs are small and they only have a simple tube for a gut, making them seem completely see-through to the naked eye. For a long time, marine biologists found it difficult to determine exactly what these creatures eat, because zooplankton, which are typically eaten by fish larvae, were never seen in their guts. However, they have since learned that leptocephali seem to feed on tiny particles floating free in the ocean, which are often referred to as marine snow. These elusive creatures are pretty difficult to study because their impressive swimming ability means they can easily evade most standard-sized plankton nets used by marine biologists. I bet they play a mean game of underwater hide-and-seek, too. You've probably heard of so-called animal whisperers before, but you might think there are certain animals humans weren't destined to be friends with. Look at her horn! Why is the gun so funny? She's not, like, scraping it. Allow me to introduce you to Jamie Trainer, South Africa's very own Rhino Whisperer. When Jamie raised two baby rhinos at a former job at Maholo Holo Wildlife Rehab Center, she fell in love with these majestic creatures and just knew that she wanted to devote her life to helping them. Thankfully, that opportunity arose when Ari van de Venter set up South Africa's very first dedicated rhino orphanage in 2012. Jamie heard of the orphanage two years later in 2014, and shortly after joining the team, she became the manager there. Thank you. The Rhino Orphanage, which is a registered non-profit company based in the Limpopo province, was the first to care for orphaned and injured baby rhinos with the only aim of releasing them back into the wild. In South Africa, many baby rhinos are left orphaned as a consequence of the current poaching crisis, which feeds the illegal horn trade. When these rhinos are taken in by the orphanage, they are hand-reared by rehabilitation staff and are even fed using bottled milk. When they're young, the rhinos are regularly fed milk until they're around a year old, when they can be gradually weaned off the white stuff. Rhinos at the orphanage are separated into groups according to ages, and are encouraged to graze and browse in the bush, wallow, and socialize with each other. For Jamie, the real perk of the job is being able to see the progress of a new baby rhino from when they first arrive at the orphanage to the moment they're released. Of course, she makes some incredible bonds along the way, too. He's coming for you. Hello.
They may look intimidating, but these beasts are gentle giants at heart. Jamie left the orphanage in 2017 to study a four-year veterinary science degree, but there's no doubt she'll be back in the future. And if these lovable creatures have warmed your heart too, you can head over to the Rhino Orphanage website and donate today. There's no denying that cats already have some of the most beautiful eyes in the animal kingdom. But take one look at the eyes of this special kitty, and you'll be mesmerized for life. This unique Moggy, named Pico, looks like he's got two big moons in his eye sockets. In case you haven't already guessed, Pico is totally blind, but his owner Monica doesn't treat him any different. Although he can't actually see anything, Pico still enjoys exploring the world around him and even enjoys gazing out of the window when he's not outside. Blindness in cats is fairly common and can be caused by various different things, such as cataracts developing with age or trauma. But most Moggies are able to live a normal, happy life by relying on their adept hearing and sensory whiskers. Because he's blind, Pico's eyes are cloudy and enlarged, making it seem like he's got a whole galaxy inside of them. Anyone who meets Pico is sure to love him, and Monica has even set up a TikTok account where she shares their adventures together. And I feel like I could look into Pico's eyes and see my own future. Have you ever felt the strange satisfaction of dipping your finger into melted candle wax after blowing out the flame? Well, at Yankee Candle Village, you can go one step further by coating your entire hand in the stuff. It may look like this girl is wearing a latex glove, but that white coating is actually all wax. In this interactive demonstration, you first dip your hand into a bucket of ice water before dunking it into a container of warm paraffin wax. As you dunk your hand back and forth between the two containers, the wax gradually builds up layer upon layer. When the warm wax makes contact with the cold water, it instantly cools and solidifies. After around four coats, the wax has formed a solid mold and can be released from the girl's hand with a few careful incisions. Once the mold is complete, it can then be decorated by dipping it in various vats of colored dye. Imagine putting this on your bedside table and having a date over for the first time. Oh, that candle? It's just a mold of my own hand. More wine? Which of these things amazed you the most? If you're not quite done packing your brain full of all things weird and wonderful, why not check out one of the previous episodes in this series next? And don't forget to get in touch at clips at bmaze.com. And thanks for watching, guys.